Hey, Walter, you ready for your bedtime story? Well, don't I look ready? Well, you look fat. How do you like my hair? Dude, I love your hair. Did you do something different tonight? Well, I had it in rollers last night. You sleep with rollers? Oh, I sure do. Uh, actually, not rollers per se. Uh, I have a pine tree in the backyard, and uh, I take pine cones, roll them right up there, a couple hours under the blower in the morning, and voila. Well, it looks outstanding. Thank you very much. And uh, wait, wait, wait. I have some uh, special props tonight to go with the story. You have props? I do. Well, that's probably a good thing because it's kind of a special night tonight. It is. It is. Why? Because we're reading a book for a little boy named Ferris. A little boy named Ferris? Yeah, Ferris. That could be the coolest name I ever heard. Why don't you say hi to him? Hey, Ferris. I think he said hi back. Say it again. Hi, Ferris. He th I think he said hi again. Okay, let's read him the story. Okay, uh, get, get the book, get the book. Okay, let me get the book. Our book tonight. Oh, I'm going to read tonight. Okay, all right. Uh, go ahead. Our book tonight is, hey, Ferris, our book tonight is, where do steam trains sleep at night? Well, this sounds like a good one. Let's go. All right, here we go. This is for you, Ferris. Pay attention. Ahem. Where do steam trains sleep at night after puffing down the tracks? Do their moms steam up hot cocoa for their just before bed snacks? Look, he's drinking hot chocolate. Ferris, he's drinking hot chocolate. Hey, where's the uh, prop? Actually, no prop for this page, but I do have a sound effect. All right, go ahead. What exactly is that? Um, he's puffing down the tracks. Uh, I see. Let's go. Where do snowplow trains sleep after all the tracks are clear? Do their moms say, plow your t toys, kids. Bedtime's almost here. I got a prop. What, uh, what do we got? That's, that's a rock. Why do we have a rock? That's the wrong prop. One second. I have my own, I have my, I have my own toy. Oh, let's show Ferris. It's Charles, my three-legged pony. Well, he's lovely. Send him up here. He does okay. Look at that. Good job, Charles. <laughs> and why do you have Charles, the three-legged pony? Well, because they had to put their toys away. So at, when we're done with our story, I'll put Charles away. Very good. Where do passenger trains sleep? Once they've dropped off girls and boys, do they fill their seats with teddy bears and cuddly bedtime toys? Hold on, I got something. I have my own teddy bear. Look at that. I have my own teddy bear. I wonder if Ferris has a teddy bear. I bet he does. He could get it for bedtime. That's a good idea. Excuse us, guys. Where do freight trains sleep at night when cargo's reached its destination? Do they rest on Daddy's flatbed as he chugs home to the station? Chugga 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 chug. Ferris's daddy, you should do chugga chug. Chugga 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 chug. Oh, very good. Where do monorails sleep once their one track trips are done? Do they sway to sleep on sky high tracks beneath the setting sun? Let's do some swaying, Ferris. This is swaying. Can we, can we finish the story? Quiet, I'm swaying. I wonder if Ferris is swaying. Oh, can we finish the story? Okay, here we go. Where do fire trains sleep when they're heroes of the hour? Do dads hose them down with water for a special bedtime shower? Hold on, I got something. What, what's that for? In case Ferris's dad wants to pour water over his head when he goes to sleep. I don't, I don't think that's likely. Oh, that's so pretty. Look at the little mouse. Ferris, look at the mouse. Okay, you want to read this one? Oh, yeah. Where do high-speed trains sleep after a day of crazy speeding? Do train moms try to calm them down with sleepy bedtime reading? 
are doing sleepy bedtime reading now. Very good. Where do breakdown trains sleep once they put engines back on rails? Do their dads rock them off to sleep with thrilling rescue tales? Get the do, get the rock. Get the, get the rock. Okay, here's the rock. Why do we need the rock? Because the dad's going to rock them to sleep. Get it? <laughs> oh. All right, finish up. Okay, sorry. Where do trolleys sleep at night after shuttling through the streets? Do mama trolleys ring their train bells for a lullaby soft and sweet? Ahem. I will now sing Ferris a lullaby. Lullaby and good dude. Dude, dude. I think that'll wake him up, not put him to sleep. Oh, sorry, Ferris. Let's go to the next one. Where do subway trains sleep once they've reached their final stop? Does the street become their blanket? A quilt of city lights on top. Speaking of cities. Excuse me. Sorry. There you go. What do we got there? It says New York. Uh, it says the Empire State. Uh, uh, but that's uh, the Empire State Building, and that's uh, New York City. Oh, that's awesome. Good job. Thank you. Excuse me, New York. Do trains gather in a roundhouse or a freight yard or a shed? They don't sleep atop a mattress. The tracks become their bed. But they have a special blankie. I wonder if Ferris has a blankie. And an oh-so-bright nightlight. They sleep beneath the crescent moon in a sky of stars so bright. Isn't that pretty? Do you have a, a, a prop? Oh, I do. Hold on. <laughs> there it is. A crescent moon and stars for sleep time. Very nice. Walter, you did a great job with this book. Well, thank you very much. I want to do good for Ferris. Now, uh, I think it's probably pretty close to Ferris's bedtime. Do you want to say good night, Ferris? Good night, Ferris. Good night, Walter.